Hello from Burma. I hope all of you are doing fine. I wanted to share something very, very special with you today. Dr. Mangalam Pillai Balamurlikrishna sir, as many of you know, uh, started performing when he was just six years old in 1936. He was called Murali Krishna at that time. But because he was a phenomenal performer and he became a celebrity already, somebody added the prefix Bala to Murali Krishna. That is how he became Bala Murali Krishna. He had a very, very busy schedule at that time. He would give a concert in one town, then get on a bus or a train. Most of the nights he would be spending traveling uh, and he would give a concert in the next town and so on and so on. This went on. His father used to accompany him. His guru, Parupalli Ramakrishnaya Pantulu Garu, also accompanied him on many of these trips. Then one saint heard him perform when he was a teenager and he said, oh, you are singing very nicely. But many people sing nicely. Uh, how come we still remember Sri Tyagaraja who lived 200 years ago? We haven't heard him sing. There are no recordings. Then uh, Bala Murli sir said, yeah, it's because of his compositions. So he said, exactly. So if you are a composer, you are a Vagyakara, your position is completely different from that of just a singer. So why don't you compose? So Bala Murli sir was stunned because he had not really had a formal education. Telugu, of course, was his mother tongue, but Sanskritam and other languages. Uh, then he had kept a tutor to learn Sanskritam a little bit. Then he said, how do I compose? What do I compose on? Then the same saint said, see, in the chart, we have 72 Malakartha Ragas. People know Kanakangi, Ratnangi like that. But how many of these Ragas are well known or familiar to the average, not only music lover, but even to the average performer. We stick to the, around 20-25 of these ragas. So why we know Shankarabharanam, for example, is because many, 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 many great composers over the years have composed many, many, many beautiful compositions in Shankarabharanam. So it is only the composition which gives a, a form or structure, raga swarupam, to each ragam. So these other ragas are languishing without enough number of compositions. So why don't you sit down and give forms to these 72 Melakartas? So then he took it up and started working on it. And within three or four years, he composed songs in all 72 Melakarta ragas and published a book. It had uh, the introduction by Sri T.S. Partha Sarathi. I knew him personally, so I, I still remember when I joined Balamurli Krishna sir, he was, TSP sir was very happy. So then he said how the young Balamurli sir, when he was 16, 17, he approached him and said, um, I want to publish a book of my own compositions in all the 72 Malakartas. So he was really stunned. Then uh, would you mind writing an introduction? So TSP sir said, uh, can you sing something? So Balamurli sir sat down and sang his extraordinary song, which is a tribute to Muthuswami Dekshitir in the ragam Sucharitra. Uh, I have sung this in, you can find the recording in uh, Music Box, uh, tribute to Muthuswami Dekshitir in Sucharitra, Chintayame Santatam. Even if he had composed that song at age 70, it would have been a miracle. But the fact that he did that as a teenager was just beyond, beyond imagination. So T.S. Parthasarthi wrote the forward and the book was published. All this, whatever I have said, uh, is information which is known to people who like Balamurli sir and his music a lot. But now comes the purpose of this video. Uh, before he composed these 72 songs, he sat down to compose 72 songs and he composed three songs on Lord Ganesha, Goddess Lalita and Lord Shiva seeking their blessings in his endeavor when he's sitting down to compose for the first time in his life. So these three songs are, as far as I know, they are not in the public domain. And on the 3rd and 4th of August, I have a teaching session coming up. This would be both in person in Hyderabad and online from whichever part of the world. So 
I hope to teach at least one of these very, 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 very special songs, maybe two, uh, on August 3rd and 4th. And there will be other songs also, more uh, normal, uh, this is not abnormal, but very, very classified. <laughs> so, uh, for registration, please feel welcome to send a message to Miss Harita at plus 91 so plus 91 Saturday and Sunday, August 3rd and 4th, morning 10 until noon, 12 o'clock at Hyderabad and online. So I will just give you one uh, sample. He, see, um, people who know again, who know Balamurli said they know he de described his music, he defined his music as Murali Ganam. In the very first song he made, he has already used the expression Murali Ganam. And uh, it is in Gambhira Nata and it is full, full, full of Swarakshrams, even first, very first composition. So one line goes like this. Murali gana samuparjana samarambhe namami manasa sirasa. So, Murali ga ga swarakshara gana samupa samupar in samarambhe nama. He is going to start the mission of Murali gana. And Namami Manasa Sirasa, I bow to you with my mind, with my head. But here, see, Samuparjana, na, Samuparjana, Sama, so, Ni, Sama, again, Swaraksha, Samarambhe, Namami, Ni, Pama, so, Na, and Mi, again, Swaraksha, Namami, Manasa, Sirasa. So this is the very first song, uh, this is one line from the very first song composed by Dr. Mangalapalli Balamurli Krishna Sir, which I would be happy to share with you on uh, 3rd or 4th of August and 10 to 12 Indian standard time. If that time is not convenient for you, you are in some other part of the world, it's midnight or early morning, don't worry, if you register, you will get a video of the complete session. So, if you want to attend in person in Hyderabad, then you better register quickly because uh, the room will get, it's a small room and it will get filled up very soon. See you. Bye.